Hey guys, the aim of this video is to use the Movery theorem to solve this problem 2 plus 2 square root of 3i raised to the power of 4. So, first of all, let's begin by changing this Cartesian form to polar form so that we can use the theorem. So, let's just focus on 2 plus 2 square root of 3. If we change that to polar form, it has a magnitude of 2 squared plus 2 square root of 3 squared and taking the square root of that. And if you work that out, this would be equal to 4. Quickly sketching 2 plus 2 square root 3i onto our argand diagram, we will go across 2 and go up to square root 3. So we have a point that goes up here. And this would be our theta. So how we work that out is from basic trigonometry. This is 2 square root 3 because this is i and this is real numbers. And the horizontal component is 2. So if you find the tangent of 2 square root 3 on 2, you will get 60 degrees. And if you convert that to radians, you get pi on 3. So our theta is pi on 3. So now we have all the information to change it into our polar form. Our z equals to 4 cis pi on 3. And this is all raised to the power of 4 because we were only focusing on this section earlier. Now that our problem is in its polar form, we can use the theorem. So our 4 over here is the absolute value of z, the magnitude. And this over here is our theta. And this 4 over here is our n. So following the theorem, all we do is say that z equals to 4 raised to the power n, which is also 4, cis n, which is 4 times theta. So this step was using the theorem. As you can see, it's quite straightforward. The only difficult and long part is changing from Cartesian to polar form usually. So simplifying down our solution a bit more, we get z equals 4 to the power of 4, which is 256 cis 4 pi on 3. However, from our diagram over here, we can tell that 4 pi on 3 is actually going across like that, which is pi, pi on 3 is here. So our actual degree is can be expressed as negative 2 pi on 3. And this is your answer.